So kids, this I promise is the last video on this topic, business finance. And I saved the crucial one towards the end because we've discussed so many sources of finance. We started with bank overdraft, trade credit, debt factoring, leasing, hire purchase, uh, debt finance, equity finance, crowdfunding, and so many others. But the real question is, how do you know which one is the most appropriate source of finance? And now, of course, there are different situations that will require you to think differently for the sources of finance that you want to use. But we need to have some factors, some barometer that allow us to calculate and allow us to ascertain which particular source of finance will be most useful in a particular situation. And I want you to remember six factors, six factors that you look at before determining which source of finance is the most useful for you. And the first of those is the time that your finance is needed for. So if it's something that you need to pay your suppliers for, then maybe a short term source of finance is used because it's something that will keep coming up on a weekly or a monthly basis because you buy supplies very regularly. So perhaps using a short term source of finance in the form of bank overdraft is more advisable. Compare that to a different situation where you may have to buy land or buy a building for expansion. That's where you're looking for large sums of money because it's a big investment project. And that's something that you can do by selling shares on the stock exchange. So the requirement will determine which source is most appropriate. And here that requirement is dependent upon the time that the source of finance is needed for. If it's short, Go for a short term source. If it's long term need, then go for a long term source. Secondly, you should also look at the cost of each of these sources. Now we've discussed this a little bit as well in our long term sources, where when you look to take loans, for example, you know you have to pay interest percentage on top of that. If you sell shares, you know you have to pay dividends. So different costs, we see in both cases, something coming out of the pocket of the business and going into the pockets of the bank or the investors, but still you need to compare one with the other and see which one's going to be cheaper for you. Of course, if it costs you less, that's a more desirable source of finance for that situation. Thirdly, the amount that you need will also be a big determinant or a big help in determining which source of finance is most feasible. And if it's a small amount that you need, then perhaps a short term source like debt factor might be more advisable. Compare that when you need a large sum, that's where perhaps a debenture or selling shares or something of a longer term nature may be more advisable. So you simply look at your need for finance and that's also a clue in which source to take. Number four is the legal structure that the company may have. And by legal structure, I mean being a sole trader, partnership or a public company, smaller businesses have fewer sources of finance available to them and larger business will have more sources of finance available for them. So the legal structure itself will determine which sources are actually available to you or not. So if you're a sole trader, maybe asking your suppliers for a little credit, a little bit of grace period to pay back at a later date might be more advisable. If you are a limited company, then selling shares is a viable option, especially when you want to raise large sums in one go. So two more factors are the amount needed and the legal structure of business itself, which will determine which source of finance should be used. Another factor that you should look at before looking for a new source of finance is the size of your existing borrowing. Of course, when you go to go for expansion in a business or looking to simply buy assets, you would borrow from a bank or other people. And if you already have a lot of debt on you, then new investors may be hesitant in giving you more money. I mean, that makes sense. If somebody is already in a lot of debt, your assumption would be that they're taking more money to pay off the previous ones and they're not going to put new money to any good use. And that's where there may be a little bit of hesitation from investors and banks to give you more finance. 
So if there's more debt, if it's chasing you like a cannonball like this, then it's probably best to get rid of that debt first before getting a new source of finance. So if your size of existing borrowing is small, then it might be easy to get new finances. If the size of your debt is large, then it's a little bit harder for you to get newer source of finance. So another factor to look at is size of existing borrowing. And lastly, you also want a source of finance that offers you a little bit of flexibility. Now what that means is that businesses are of different nature, right? Some businesses may be seasonal, some may be seeing constant demand throughout the year. So if you have a seasonal business where you know that every now and then you're going to be buying raw material from your uh, supplier, then, then in some seasons you may not. That's where you may ask them for credit credit because some seasons you expect to sell a lot and you know that you can pay for the raw material that you bought. But in other seasons, you may not be able to pay for it. So you ask for a little bit of grace period to pay back at a later date. If you have a more constant need for finance, then perhaps a bank overdraft is more advisable because this is an agreed upon limit between the bank and the business and you can use that limit anytime and in any amount that you require. So that's where flexibility is also useful for a business. So six factors that we looked at, flexibility, size of existing borrowing, amount needed, the time that it's needed for, um, the legal structure and the financial cost. Collectively, those six are the factors that help a business to determine which source of finance is most appropriate at that given point in time. That is how business finance works.